Hi there, another quick tip from intoedu.com. We're going to look at Scratch Junior specifically how to import a picture of something that um, is not available within Scratch itself. Note that you'll probably have to print a picture of something or take a picture of something on the screen somewhere, which may not be as good, but I found that often printing the pictures is the best option for this. So in this case, we were trying to put in robots to talk about exploration on Mars. So here we have a scene with um, some existing characters already there, ready to be programmed. Um, in this one in particular, on the rocket, uh, the kids took advantage of the porthole to put their own face in there. And now we're adding a new character, the robot. Start with the blank character and choose the painting option and then just draw a shape an initial shape that's would enclose the object that you're taking if it's long and skinny you might uh, end up drawing something with the freehand tool I'll just press undo um, a round object a circle uh, or you could use a square um, then you press the camera tool and then press in the middle of the square you're now ready to take a picture. You probably want to ro rotate the camera so that you can point it at the thing that you're wanting to take a picture of. Okay, so um, in this case, um, we will try attempt to take a picture of something on the screen. Um, so here's a particular thing, uh, a robot. I'm just gonna zoom in on this robot on the screen just to make it a bit bigger and a bit easier to take a picture of. And we go. Alright, the first one is just to establish the shape on the screen. The next thing is to grab the drawing tool and go as thin as you can on the lines over on the left hand side and then draw around the shape. It doesn't have to be perfectly close, but reasonably close would be really, really good. Okay, and finish. Once you've done that, grab the scissor and press on the shape and you're back to a shape that looks a little, little bit like the exterior of everything. Grab your camera again, click in the middle of the shape. We're back to the same camera and taking a picture of the same shape. This time what you're trying to do is make sure you've got it as close as you can to what you had before. So a little bit of rotation, a little bit of movement. Doesn't have to be perfect. And once you've done that, snapshot. Okay. The real cool thing is, uh, you can see the arrow over here on the right hand side. Um, you can then click on the line, and what that will do is give you a series of handles. And uh, any handle that you click on and just let go immediately of disappears. So I'm just deleting a few of these ones to get them out of the road. And in other cases, I can drag and make it closer to the object that I'm trying to mask off. Masking is probably the best terminology to use with the kids. So you can see now it's a lot closer to the edge of the shape. And when I'm finished, press the tick. And hey presto, we have our robot on the image. Obviously that's rather small, I could make a bigger program to make it bigger, or if I wanted the bigger one in the first instance, then I'd need to make sure that the picture was bigger that I was taking 